I'm sure you're wondering how old I am. And you can find that out by doing the number of continents that start with an A. Time is 12 minus 4 and divided by 4. So does anybody have the answer for that? <coughs> anybody in the audience have the answer? Yes? No, the correct answer is I'm 11 because you can find that out. There's Asia, Antarctica, Australia, and Africa. That's 4 times 12 is 48, minus 4 is 44, divided by 4 is 11. <laughs> Did you know that 86% of all jobs involve math, and 93% of Americans think math is essential to success in life? And also, 95% of Americans say that, that the next generation has to be as good at math as when they were growing up. Some adults yet consider themselves to be bad at math. Some monkeys are less intimidated by math than humans, and we have two of them here. So we have Bob on the abacus, and then we have Matthew the Math Monkey in the corner. That's my logo to my math website. Did you know that 30% of Americans would rather clean a bathroom than do math? <laughs> Where are my 30 percenters? So now I have some math trickery for you. You have two numbers, x and z. x plus z equals 54, and x minus z equals 40. What is x and what is z? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? That's correct. So 47 plus 7 is 54, and 47 minus 7 is 40. An average person wouldn't be able to solve that problem. But my goal is for them to be able to by bringing math into the daily household conversation. So now, raise your hand if you like card games. Raise your hand if you like board games. And raise your hand if you like Legos. Well, all of them are fun, and all of them build up math skills. So card games, such as war, the whole game is math by comparing the numbers. And then with Legos, the whole point is being creative and having fun. But you're also building math skills with it. So now I have a video of me building a Lego coffee shop. Hello everybody, I'm Zachary Rosenberg. And I'm going to be talking about how to build a Lego coffee shop and partial steps of it. To because of my TEDx talk and showing how Legos are good to be involved. So the first step you want to do is find a large platform. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get pieces that you'll have one space on the side of each side either way. And then you want to leave some room on the sides. Then you're going to want to take some one by sixes, right here, and put them on each side. So when you're building, you want to build symmetrically. Basically then, you're going to want to take some two by eights, put them on each side. And you'll take, want to take one, two more one by sixes, and then what you're going to want to do, you can take a door, put it in the middle, and then put the pieces that would automatically end up surrounding it. Then the final steps of what you want to do is build up. So I'm going to just start that for you by... Okay, this is basically part of an example of building it up. And you will also be able to involve tables and computers inside. Hi, huh. so basically now what I'm doing is building up on the sides and involving some interesting aspects into it. So here we have a table for our coffee lovers.
and we're also building up on it, which we will soon have the final product of what we're doing. Hi, I'm back. And right now, we have our coffee shop without our roof. Now, we can watch the building of the roof. So, right here, we're gonna build a ledge that for some reason won't necessarily cooperate. Then, we'll put one more. We have this, and then our final thing, we have one right here. And this is our finished coffee shop. Thank you very much for watching this video. And hopefully like you like the rest of my talk. So the other things you might not realize are you can do stuff at the supermarket too. Which you guys might not realize that you are buying the more expensive thing. But you should really take into mind comparing prices of things. So our example of it is with ramen packs. So we have a six pack and a one pack. So the six pack is one sixty nine and the one pack's four for one dollar. And how it works is you'd divide the one dollar divided by four, which you guys can figure out is twenty five cents. And then to figure out what's the better buy, you'd multiply that by six to get one dollar and fifty cents. And you'd find out getting six one packs is a better buy than getting the six pack. So on the road, there's many things you can do as well, such as find out the amount of sides on a stop sign, and then you would realize it's the shape of an octagon. Or with a parking meter, you can find out how much money for how much time, which what I do is my mom puts in a certain amount of money, and then I jump up in the air on the other side to see how much time's on it. And then in the car, we can just figure out how much time and how long until we get to one place, such as the time is 544 in the car, there's 150 miles in the tank, you have 120 miles left to drive to Las Vegas, and you, it's, you're driving at 60 miles per hour, you don't take bathroom breaks or stop at all, and you keep the same pace. Does anybody know how many miles you have left in the tank and what time it will be when you arrive? Anybody? Okay, so just so you know, it would be 744 and there'd be 30 miles left in the tank. So at a restaurant, you can figure out the tip as well as find out how, if you're splitting the bill, how much each person would owe, which is done by doing the price divided by how many people are splitting. On November 1st, 2015, I launched mathcraze.com and here's the homepage which you can see I like helping kids go bananas for math. And then we have videos and lessons on the site. So the videos above the lessons, and then the lesson would be measurement lesson one here. In the videos, we have strategies that I use or teachers of mine have used in the topic. And we're now with kinder to fourth grade and fifth grade will soon be added. And then after that, we have an answer page that has the answers to your problems. Then soon we will be adding um, games to the site. Our first is Math Jeopardy. And then also soon to be added will be Math Craze Members, which is a thing that will have weekly videos and emails sent to you about things you can do during the week in math. Or we'll also have Ask the Expert calls where you'll call in to one of our experts and your family will talk about math with whoever the expert is, and then we'll also talk about just fun things you're doing during the week. Um, as well as my favorite part is the monthly marble set competition where each family has to work as a team to build a Lego coffee shop. I mean, not a Lego coffee shop, the marble set. And everybody has to be involved, not one person building and others watching TV and on their phones. And... As, as well as every, we'll have a certain theme each month that 
will you guys have to build off of, which could be you use food, or sometimes it'll just be you have to use a specific item. So I'd like to thank you for listening to my talk, and thank you for coming.